Hello my friends, my name is Rick. Welcome back to the channel. This is my very first miter saw. It's a 10 inch compound miter saw. If you don't have one uh, and you're a, a woodworker, uh, I encourage you to check one out because uh, uh, they can really make your life much easier. Uh, I purchased this about 10 years ago and once done, I, I rarely use my table saw. I always seem to need to make cross cuts and that's what the miter saw is for. You can cross cut up to five and a half inches uh, in width, three and a half inches in depth. Uh, you can cut various angles here for uh, making some nice, say 45 degree angles for a picture frame. Uh, you can also adjust the head here uh, to make bevel cuts in case you want to do some crown molding. So it's very useful, very handy tool. It's almost a must have when it comes to woodworking. All right, so this is my 14 inch abrasive cutoff saw. Uh, sometimes they're called chop saws and uh, it's for cutting metal, uh, mild steel. And uh, I've used this uh, extensively and it's worked great, very functional. Um, but it, uh, it does produce a tremendous amount of dust, sparks, um, it stinks uh, in the shop. So, uh, you know, it's a crude tool, but it does get the job done. Here's <laughs> So this is my new miter saw. It, uh, it's terrific. It's made by Evolution. It's their R255 uh, SMS. And that all stands for just simply 255 is uh, 255 millimeters, uh, which equates to 10 inch. So this is their 10 inch sliding compound miter saw. And, uh, and so far it's been terrific. I've been putting it through its paces. Um, the cool thing about this saw is that it not only covers this miter saw, it not only cuts wood, but it cuts a multitude of materials. It'll cut mild steel. Uh, here we've got a piece of two inch round stock, and it's got a piece of two inch square tubing, and it certainly will cut the eighth inch uh, flat bar. And, uh, but it'll also cut, it'll cut plastic, PVC tubing. Uh, it'll cut copper and it cuts aluminum. And the other thing it cuts is, uh, you know, some of this composite material here that they use uh, for uh, decking. So it'll cut it all. So this is pretty interesting because Evolution has come up with a tool where they've modified the motor, they've slowed down the RPMs, and they've designed the blade uh, to be able to handle all these different materials. I have seen on YouTube a number of guys try to take their standard wood cutting miter saw and slow that motor down. Um, and it doesn't work. They've tried it. Uh, it, it. What it does, it does slow the motor down, but then they lose the torque. It also increases the amperage draw from the motor, and so it can burn the motor out. Uh, so it just doesn't work. They've tried it a number of times. I've seen people trying to uh, do, do likewise over here with a, with a 14 inch cutoff for abrasive saw. Same thing, the motor just won't handle it. It won't give you enough torque and it puts, uh, in, in, you could smoke the motor. Uh, as, it, as, it, as it goes under load, it starts to draw a lot of amperage. So, so interesting enough, here we are. Uh, the Evolution team has come up with uh, a motor that runs at uh, 2,500 RPMs that delivers the torque needed for this carbide blade to cut through uh, all the different materials that you'd probably run into as a homeowner or as a craftsman or as a metal worker. So now the other cool thing about this saw, it's only 205 bucks on amazon.com prime. So you can get free shipping uh, if you've got prime. Uh, $200, that's, uh, that's a pretty good deal for its ability to, to cut all these things and basically it, kind of replaces two different tools in your shop. So, you know, guys, when I was uh, shopping for one of these, uh, one of the things that concerned me about this saw is I didn't know how much of this saw and all this would be made out of plastic or, or, or would it be metal uh, or some sort of composite. And uh, I got to tell you, all of the critical components, this head, this, all the back here, everything here is uh, aluminum or some form of metal. 
Uh, the only plastic is in this handle, these two pieces, as well as in the motor housing, which is fine. Uh, but uh, that said, everything else is metal. So that's great. Um, maybe another cool thing I like about this saw, it's, it's a small point, but boy, it's important. Uh, it already comes with a two and a half inch adapter here that you can use to connect, you know, all of your typical shop vac uh, hose. The other thing that the Evolution team did is they built in a very soft start, which is terrific. Check this out. That's so much nicer to work with than, uh, than this one. Check this out. Loud, aggressive. Look at this, this is just so sweet. I love it. Let's cut some steel tubing. Here's a two inch uh, by eight inch wall thickness. How awesome is that? Look at that. You know, and the cool thing about it, because it's not abrasive, it's nice and cool to the touch. Check that out. And you know what? I'm not wearing a dust mask. I am wearing eye protection and long sleeve shirts here because this saw produces chips that, you know, that can fly out and uh, you don't want to get one of those in your eye. So always good to wear eye protection for sure. Uh, but you know, there isn't the dust, there isn't the smell, uh, that I get when I use my uh, abrasive caulk saw. Let's see how it does with this piece of two inch by three sixteenths inch. That's some pretty thick material. Let's wow, that is fast. Now, here's a big test. Here's a piece of quarter inch angle. Uh, it's probably pushing this thing beyond what they would recommend, but uh, I want to give it a try. Wow! Look at that. Quarter inch thick, two by two angle. That's freaking awesome. No problem. Topper. Here's a piece of uh, PV of that composite from a deck. Nice. All right. So after all that, here's a piece of ash wood. Let's just see if it cuts through that nicely. Alright guys, well, I tell you, I can't fault this machine at all. Anyway, I recommend it and I uh, hope this video was helpful, hope it was informative and, uh, you know, got any comments, let me know uh, down below. Like if you like and uh, subscribe if you want to see uh, additional videos coming up and uh, thanks so much for joining and we'll be back in here soon with another video. Take care guys.